Hi, I'm Ashley Harwood, and in this video, I'm going to be turning this into this. Squarespace can help anyone create a beautiful and professional looking website. With their sleek, easy to use templates, you can create an online store or simply a gallery to show your work. Let Squarespace help you bring your craft to the world. I'm working on some bed face designs recently. These are a fun and relatively quick project that can be so many different shapes and sizes. Great for those pieces of wood you've been hanging on to for a while. I'm using live oak for this one. It's native to my area, super hard, and has a really wonderful wavy grain pattern. Once I see what kind of stock I can get out of this piece, I work up a sketch of the design. I've made a couple of variations on this one so far, and I think it will work beautifully with this wood. For this spindle turning, I adjust the belt on my lathe to the highest speed setting. Anyone who knows me knows that I am not one for measuring. moment for me. This is the first time shooting a video with my new signature bowl gouge. I need to make sure my tenon is super precise since it will hold the piece on the lathe while I'm boring a hole on the opposite end. Once it's in the chuck, the first step is to rough it round. Then I'll use my Jacob's chuck in the tailstock to drill the hole for the test tube that will fit into the top. It got a little hot here, but we are okay. And now the real fun begins. One benefit of using a parabolic bowl gouge with a 40-40 grind is the ability to remove a lot of material easily by slicing with the nose and peeling with the wing at the same time. With super dense wood like this live oak, the shavings come off easily. After roughing out the shape, I start refining some of the curves. You may find it surprising, but the roughing gouge can actually do a really nice job on the subtle cove shapes. I switch to the spindle gouge to refine the fillets.
I would like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace can help anyone, even a woodturner, create their very own beautiful and easy to navigate website. With the release of my new line of turning tools, I am putting together an updated and upgraded website that will include an online store with inventory management and a secure checkout process. With my new Squarespace website, I will be able to offer links to my Instagram account, the ability to embed my YouTube videos, and a simple but elegant way to tell my story. It will automatically optimize for mobile, so I can rest assured knowing that it will look just as good on any type of device. They even offer domain registration, so it really is like one-stop shopping for setting up your own website. Check out squarespace.com, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Ashley Harwood for 10% off your purchase of a website or domain. For real, if I'm not putting it off anymore, you shouldn't either. I always like to check my shape against the drawing. It helps me to gauge the proportions. Just a little more refinement. to get these curves just right. Everyone's favorite part. Don't worry, I won't make you watch all of it. a walnut oil wax finish that's kind of like a chemical-free version of a Renaissance wax. I wipe it on with the lathe off and then turn the lathe on to buff it in. Now it's ready to part off. Now ideally you want to catch it, but if you're too nervous to try this, you can always finish the last bit with a handsaw. The very last step is to flatten the bottom where I parted it off. 
For this, I use a sanding disc mounted straight into my headstock. If you're interested in more of a behind the scenes look of my business and, and what's going on, what kind of projects I'm working on, um, we do have a links down below the video for the Patreon page as well. And at the $10 level, you will see receive advanced notification of when I'm going to be posting my classes. You will know 24 hours before everybody else uh, when these classes are going public. I would especially like to give a Big shout out to my top tier patrons. Steve Snyder, Andrew Nadell, Chris Cairns, Chris Jones, David Matheson, Andrew Mobius, Carrie Carpenter, Charles Saki, Dalby Rowan, Duke Bloy, Jacob Jackson, Jeffrey Bishop, Jim Tate, John McDevitt, Carl Schickles, Patrick Walker, Richard Swoboda, Robert Hunt, AKA Mr. Bodog, and Stephen Roberts. Thank you so much. Your support is greatly appreciated. All right, I'm back to work. So till next time, guys. Bye.